you want to hear the story of how it happened? You went in and saw a baby. <laughs> no. And he was dried off, but she hadn't delivered the placenta yet. So we got there within the first like 15 or 20 minutes, probably. Good morning, guys. So welcome to today's video. Actually, right, just wait for me. It's actually the same day that our baby kid, our first baby kid was born on our farm. Oh my. Uh, Sophie's kid. Anyways, we uh, left him down in the barn. I didn't want to make that video too big and I wanted to get it out to you guys. So we posted it last night, but it's the same day. And we left them for an hour, but we're worried about him getting cold. So we're headed back down and I have to tell you a couple of things. It is really cold out today, really cold. All the schools were canceled again, Hi. just because there was snow. I was so excited this morning when we went down. I came running back, freaking out to get my camera so I could film it for you guys and for us. And all the dogs were like, what's going on? What's going on? And then when Sam came down later, Daisy actually came and followed him to the barn. Uh, Daisy does not go to the barn. She does not like the barn, but she was so excited because I was so excited that a miracle happened and she came to the barn. Like it's so sunny out, but the snow is like blinding me. Sophie, wait for me. <laughs> we just want to make sure he's not cold and then I have to rig up some stuff for before tonight. It's just so crazy. Like, he's nothing that I wanted. I, I didn't want a chamose. I didn't want a boy. He's all the things I didn't want. But it was love at first sight. His mom stood up and he's like, boom. Oh, good. He's doing good. And we left mom. We le wanted to leave her. She's love loving him. I don't know who loves him more. Sophie mom or, or Mocha mom. No, T Blossom mom. Oh, I brought these big, huge blankets down here. And I'm glad I left them. I'll show you what I'm going to use them for. They're like so super heavy. I haven't even cleaned the barn yet. That's how like we were frozen when we went back up. I want. I'm using the red one, yeah. All right, so they're heavy. That's a big quilt. Heavy, heavy quilt. I have a heater I can put on. Hi, buddy. Come here, baby. So I washed the mom's bum. Oh. <laughs> it's Hi. like you. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you didn't even hear his name. Winston? You call him Winston? I love the name Winston. He looks like a Winston in his cute little blue shirt. You, mama? you have to share. She has to share. So the reason that we're making her share is because... He remembers that I put the blanket over him and he's like, hell yeah. He's not going to be a good goat unless he can be a friendly goat. Look, his feet are stuck. Oh, it's cold down here. Oh, he loves butt scratches. He's not shaking no more. Is he cold? No. He's Did you see was he laying with his mom? Yeah, they were laying next to each other. Next to, like, was he cuddled into her? No. Oh. The most amazing thing though is that she is a natural mom and she is loving on him and taking care of him like a pro. Like lots of times when it's their first baby, especially because she's so young, it can go badly, but she is a freaking pro. I put that blanket up there because I noticed that there was a breeze coming in there, or at least it was colder over there because the doors are all over there. He loves this. <laughs> Did you see him come over to me though? No, I missed it. You rush ahead of me, but are you really gonna call him Winston? Yes. I love the name Winston for a baby if, goat. If he was a girl, I'd name her him Buttercup. <sighs> well, he's not a buttercup color. He is. Are his legs dry still? That one. They're still like a little dewy. Or they're just like shiny. And I feel it shiny. I'm gonna turn on the heater. Oh, baby boy! <laughs> Look at you! Oh, look at your face! She's like, what did she do to you? Mocha might be even, or Blossom. Blossom might even be overzealous because we're in here. She's like, leave him alone. He's mine. But one thing mine about too. goats is that our white goat, she taught her baby to be afraid of strange, to be afraid of people. So we're not hey, doing Blossom's that with him. really friendly. Like she, she is really friendly. Until you try and touch her utter, but like, yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's nobody so likes their utter touched. <laughs> Sophie is so funny. Like, I don't know if she gets it from me or if she gets it from her dad, but she's so, so you were being funny. Ungrateful. I know I was. Why was I being ungrateful? Because you didn't want. Uh, I'm like Sam Rose. I so know. You're gonna get uglier babies now. I know. You're gonna get all I'm boys. Like, Watch. You're gonna get all boys. <laughs> They're all gonna be that color. I'm like, oh, I didn't want a Sam Jose. Like, 
we have to sell him anyways because he's a boy and we can, can't just keep a bunch of boys. <laughs> but I'm like, ugh, I, like, I did not suspect that we get a Chamblisse from a gold boy and a brown mom. Like, I thought we'd get some kind of cream thing, which he is kind of creamy. It was him dad as a paint. No, it's probably probably a, a Chamblisse. No. Yeah, is he the same as Rocky? Yeah, it makes sense now while we got a Chamblisse because Mocha had two babies. One was a Chamblisse and one was a chocolate. So that's where the Chamblisse came and then our buck must have Chamblisse in his his lineage as well. I love Winston. Winston is such a cute name. I don't love his color. It sucks that he's the only color I didn't want to get. And she's like, well, he's mine. <laughs> I said, well, good for you. Well, good. I'm glad he's yours. And she thinks now oh, I'm going to get worse colors. But ultimately, the color does not matter. The fact that he's healthy. Aww. He came out all on his own. Winston. His mom has done everything for him. She's peeing. I know. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Oh, he won't leave I put, I'm scratching him. I put some stuff on her butt. I put some stuff on her so that it would protect her and she wouldn't feel the burn of peeing after she gave birth. I was contemplating giving her some some pain relief. Even though she only had one baby and she didn't tear and she seems to be doing fine, it's still painful. Um, and also, she's accepting him. Like, sometimes if a little goat is in pain, they will reject their, their baby oh. at first. He's just like, right here. <laughs> it's funny how big he looks in the camera, but he's not big. But he's not tiny. He's like, tiny. he's not, he's, he's tiny, but he's not undersized. Does that make sense? Here, I'm going to put on the heater for us. He's happy. I'm so glad that Are she's you obsessed. Up here? Yeah, she she used to be your baby, so. I know. Now I have to baby her baby. I know. Now you're a grandma, at 14. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. This is such good training. I know that there's going to be some comments that say something about like how we shouldn't be handling him. And that we shouldn't be interfering, but because these are dairy goats that need to be milked. Look at her otter. I don't think they can see that right now. I mean, it's lopsided. We need to put them on this side. Actually, I should milk her out. Mil get, get some get some colostrum. That was my plan. Yeah, let's see if you can get them to nurse on that side. What happens is they get used to the same side and then you end up with a problem. See, she keeps pushing him to this side. See how she just did that? We need to put him to the other side. But he's full. He's already pooped so many times we've seen him. Yeah, she's in pain. He's only going on one side and she's pushing him to one side. Like, he tries to go to the other side and she pushes him to this side. I think it's just because she's like right-handed. So she's pushing him like with her head the way her head likes to go. I could be wrong, but she's pushing him to this side all the time. So, He's so sassy. When that happens, though, it can, like, cause problems. So we just milked her, and I didn't have the camera on because we were trying to milk her. She stood perfectly. We just stood here and milked her right here, and I got some colostrum so that I can freeze because we're going to have babies, more babies. He and down right next to me. Yeah, he did lay down just next to you. Oh, my gosh. And so... Having some colostrum in the freezer for other kids in case something goes wrong is so important. So I'm so glad I did that. I'm going to do it a few times. He's getting mad at his mom. But it's really good that she let us milk her. Anyway, Sophie milked her. I said, here, Sophie, I'll hold her. You milk her. And she's like, how do I do it? I told her. And she did it. And she said, oh, I'm milking. <laughs> She's getting so mad at mom. <laughs> I know. She's a little overzealous. She's like, let me, let me touch you. Let me. She's just like us, Sophie. She learned it from you. She's like, oh, I just want to touch him. Well, because when she was smaller, I just held her all the time. She so I don't know why we didn't think that we'd get a Chamblisse. His, his uncle is a Chamblisse. Oh my my God. sister wants to come and see him so she can see him jumping around. And he does jump around. Just but he wobbly today. He, yeah, he's like not so super good at it. He was only born he, today. Yeah, he's only like four hours old. But he jumps and then he falls over. <laughs> but look at how good she is at keeping him clean. He can't be dirty, Mom. Yep, how, heaven forbid her baby be dirty. Like, that is adorable. He's drinking. Yeah, he drinks, he's good. Like, we, we won the lottery with this. Oh, so many people said things to me like, oh my gosh, you're giving her grain. She shouldn't have grain. The baby's going to be way too big. Or, 
or oh my gosh he's so cute he's the butt she's so young she's not gonna have an easy time of it and right. like yeah it was so easy for us but people weren't being unkind they were just like preparing me so that i'd be prepared and then i was prepared and then i was like freaked out and then i was nervous but she's literally like this has been a dream birth this has been an absolute dream i don't even know if he came breech i don't know if he came nose first feet first like i don't even know what happened well, we don't he whatever way's the right way yeah i'm guessing he came the right way she's like yes he did you're a good girl, Blossom. We're just coming down like every hour to check on him and make Is sure he's he warm. There? Sam has gone to the physio because he still goes to physio like so many times a week, man. This is like the third time this week. And he's going to come down. He's going to help us. And I don't know if I'm going to like put a little, see, he gets Happy. scared. Like, you know how deer do that? They get scared and then they drop to the ground. It's instinct. Goats do that too. I've seen him do it a few times. He, he suddenly gets scared and he drops. But there's so many things like that you have to take care of in your pregnant goat. You have to make sure all their vitamins and nutrients are up, are really up. And our goats hate their, their, their vitamins. And it's like pulling teeth to get them to take it. So he could have been born with like a selenium, selenium deficiency or but like, wasn't. I know I was watching for all the things and he's not, he has nothing. He's perfect. I can tell when he doesn't want me to touch him. <laughs> I know he's so sassy. He just, he just he's like, eh, don't touch me. When babies only drink from one side, it can cause mastitis, Aww. which is another reason that I wanted to milk her and unplug that for her. His mom's pushing him. I know. She, she's perfect. Like, I can't even believe our luck. And I know somebody will, some people will probably be like, this is normal. But only 60% of babies or 63% of babies in the wild survive birth because so many things can go wrong. Like, when you have baby goats and you have them in captivity you you're resp me. you're suddenly responsible for everything you're responsible for the birth you're responsible for making sure they're fed you're responsible for everything when you take them out of the wild he's like you made me warm earlier because i put him under the blanket and he was like steaming all right i'm gonna go do he's chores steaming. do you guys think i should hang up something over that door i just want oh. it to be warm in here i mean if he stays Oh, I mean, and he was sleeping. I mean, it's yeah. not as cold as it was, but it's still not warm. It's like below freezing. She's like, stop touching him. I just cleaned it. It's like two degrees below freezing right now. But tonight it's going to be like minus 10. His feet are so soft. I know. And so if you got to see his feet when they came, when he was oh, first born. It's yeah, so it's so soft and so cool. Oh, we in He's really interested in Sophie. He's like, I have no friends. <laughs> I have friend. And his next friends are going to be a month younger than him. Unless they surprise us too. Well, no, they're not due. So Tilly's due a month from Monday, I think. Like, uh, So on Monday, it'll be three weeks she'll be due. He and then me because the first time he saw me, I scooped him up. I know. Poof. And then, on and then a week later, Tilly's due. He's going to be the cutest, friendliest boy. So we have two more does that are going to give birth. But he's really cute. <laughs> he's like, stop. Yeah, he's like, help me. My mom is pushy. She is bossy. Me too. She's so mad. Did you say me too? <laughs> I'm not pushy. Pet Mocha or Pet Blossom. Let her know that she's a good girl. She is. We love you. Good. Yeah, she needs love too. Your baby wants scratch too. <laughs> <laughs> like, scratch me, scratch me. <laughs> I can't believe that that I like he looks adorable in that blue sweater. But it's so funny because I only had two two blush colored ones that I loved. And I'm like, oh I love these sweaters so much. And then just the other day I found this blue one. She's so careful laying down. Well, because she has a huge udder now. Well, and her backside is probably sore. <laughs> And Thank you, buddy. He's so cute. And so 
I was cleaning up and I found this little blue one and I was like, mm, maybe I'll take this down just in case we get a boy. <laughs> oh, he's going to climb up on you and cuddle. He wants up, but he can't find his So Sophie cried. I went up to the house to get you guys because I wanted you guys to experience it with us. Sophie cried and I missed it. My I, hands were shaking. They were like... I know. I was like, he's going to lay down too. It can be hard for them to lay down at first while they figure it out. He wants to sit with me. He does. He can't get up. He can't figure out how to... He's so mad. <laughs> he's so frustrated. He knows he needs to jump, but he can't coordinate enough to jump properly. Should I pick him up? Mm -mm. Well, yeah, you can. Well, this is yeah. kind of funny. Go pick him up and put him in there. He's baby cold. Yeah, so, we'll use the blanket and cover him up so he can have a nice okay, nap. Well, he's happy now. Yeah, that's all he wanted. <laughs> that's adorable. Nope. Okay. <laughs> he's like, Mama, I'm here. <laughs> so, for the first, like, little bit it can be hard for them I to regulate their temperature because they're so tiny i think he just wants to climb and it is cold so that's why we put the sweater on him because he was still a little wet too so if he blew him dry and he loved that i have the hair dryer down here so if we need to warm him up quick we have that well he doesn't seem like cold like no he was shivering earlier yeah, and even when he was, like, shivering a little, his gums were still really warm. Spiciness of it. I know. He really needs a sibling. It's too bad he doesn't have a sibling to play with. <laughs> Imagine two of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. At least we both have one to love on. Like, we're just... The, the next video, like, the, this whole 24 hours of video is just going to all be us loving on our baby goat. Yep. He's a happy baby. So but one him. thing I love about him, do you know what it is? His eyes. No, one thing I. Well, he's quiet. Some goats, baby, some baby goats are like Glasses noisy. Like, yeah, I did that. Oh, I bet you she was quiet. She say, "Ha ha, I was quiet." Yeah, good girl. He's like, why did you stop? <laughs> he's like, what in the world? <laughs> he is. He's like, this is rude. <laughs> now I know why our boy is the way he is. He was spoiled too much. Yeah, well, definitely spoiled. Oh, now she wants more. Use two hands, Sophie. This hand needs to stay warm. All my personal opinions about color aside, he is so cute. And it, some people prefer Chamosé. I know, they're cute. And he's I, I cute. Love blossoms color. I think he'll darken. Do you think he'll darken up? I hope not. But he's got some like chocolate on his head. See, like on his, on top of his head, and then he's got that white on his, his head. His ears are darker, too. Yeah, he'll darken up, I'm sure. We should go because my feet are asleep and I'm cold. All I can't right. feel my feet because All right. All right. Well, we're going to go back up. I'm going to freeze the milk yeah, that we got. Little, uh, yeah, that little tiny bit of milk. Oh, it's a good amount. It's like probably two ounces. It's a tiny bit of milk. I know, but still, it's good to have, and I'll milk her again the next time we come back. What? This little guy won't drink all the milk that she has. She actually has a pretty big udder for a first freshener. I've oh, seen lots why? of first fresheners not even have half that amount of milk. He's so mad. He's like, why would you do that? I know, you shouldn't have got him up because he was all cozy warm in that. Yeah, well, my feet are asleep and I hate it. I know, but I can't. Oh. Aww. He's like, I'm coming to lay beside you. <laughs> he really is. He's like, oh, great, another one. <laughs> another one. Oh. oh, he's kissing me. He's I, it was like him. such a beautiful experience finding him like that. Like, it was like Christmas times 500. It was so overwhelming and shocking that I didn't even, couldn't even think about like, oh, well, what, what is the sex? Like, what color do eyes? Like, I, I couldn't even think of any of it. All I could do. I want this under my tree. Yeah, he's big, actually. He's a big, healthy boy. All I could think about, I like all the things on my checklist that I had to do, like I need to trim up his cord. His cord is perfect though. Can you grab that piece of hay off his cord? She trimmed it so perfectly herself or it broke so perfectly herself itself. She's trying to tell him to lay beside her. Yeah, he wants to lay beside me though. He's like, well, you warmed me up. But he likes you more. <laughs> He's, He's so like, hey, sassy. <laughs> He's like, hey, 
He wants to play. <laughs> I might give her a pain pill. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Like his mom probably said, these are humans, they are my friends. No, she probably said, stay away from that blonde one. She's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> no. Only go to her if she has food. <laughs> Blossom likes me. Oh, he's pooping again. Baby poop is the grossest poop. They have like the same gross poop like human poop do. Human babies do. Wasn't that gross? But he's pooping a lot, so he's getting a lot of food. Did you know that goats sometimes prefer to oh, feed bucks over doling, bucklings Where over dolings? I don't know, but she's going to watch him now. She's stepped in his poo. Here, I think, I think he wants to. No, put him on the other side. Okay, and he okay. doesn't. He's full. This, this thing well, eats. Why did he just jump under my arm? Well, he's hungry now. He's like, yeah. Come and see me. He doesn't like you. He needs to get Ellie down here to stay with him. Yeah, Ellie's like so this Ellie smaller than him, him, probably. Shorter. She's wider, like she's longer and thicker, but he's taller. He looks, I look in the camera and he looks so huge. I look in the. He's down, baby. I look in real life and he's so tiny. Oh, is he pooping again? No, he's scratching his ear. He's so sassy. <laughs> oh, crap, what? He wants to jump. He wants to fly. I'll bring in a little thing for him to can jump put, off of tomorrow. Put... Everything has gone perfectly okay, all day long. But now that it's getting to be dark and the sun is going down, things are getting crazy. I'm more worried because it's so cold in the barn. So we're going to head down. I'm going to try and milk her again because, like I said, he's only nursing on one side. So I'm gonna bring down a little bowl and nur and milk her. I'm bring gonna bring down a cloth and I'm gonna bring down a nice warm cloth and clean her udder again. And she really seemed to like that. Okay, so this is what we ended up doing. I've seen a lot of people do it. We're watching them on the monitor just to make sure everything's okay. Um, I'm gonna milk her out a little again. Right now. So the reason it's so good. They're all just talking to each other. He's, feel him. He's toasty. Is he? So I was watching him. And he was sleeping over against that wall. Over against that wall. And I'm like, what the heck, man? Why can't you just sleep in here like a regular baby goat? Oh, she's looking for him. Sophie's oh. got him. <laughs> he's, he's over here. So anyway, I have this for now. He's supposed to be a quiet one. <laughs> People are probably like, oh, he's not even alive. He doesn't make any noise. He's so quiet. I think he's a chocolate chamose. I think he'll darken up. But right now, his color is so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to just clean her udder again because she really likes it when I wash her. He doesn't like me just coming and picking him up. He likes being able to come to me. Yeah, that's a goat thing. Right? Yeah. Actually, we're going to put him. try and get him to eat nurse on this side of her. Cause this is the side that he's not nursing on. There he goes. <laughs> so cute. Uh oh, why isn't he nursing? He's like, I don't like that side. We're just making sure that he has a good feed before we go back up. And he peed on his sweater. We were worried about that, so we were we've been checking it. Oh, and I, I got a little bit of colostrum, just a tiny bit. I definitely don't want to like milk her out. I just want to take the edge off because I don't want her to get mastitis in one side. Checked checked the bed and it's not super hot. It's not hot at all actually. Oh, is he nursing again, Sophie? Well, yeah, I just saw him head butter. Good. Good. I just, like, I panic. You guys know I panic. <laughs> panic before the birth, panic after the birth. Okay, so if we go grab the other sweater, we're going to change it. And the iodine spray, too. He loves Sophie. His favorite thing to do with Sophie is sleep with her. But look at that liquid gold. All right, so this is him without the sweater. He's got the chocolate striped down his back. Here, pick it into the side. So fluffy. Oops, that's him. He looks huge in the camera. I know. Put the camera back on. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, his belly is nice and full. He feels chubbier than this morning. Um, lose your hand. She's like, oh, thank goodness you took off that awful sweater. This he's is my like, baby. I'm cold now. I know, put the new sweater on quick because he's just. Wait, hold on, Tammy. <laughs> he tried to, like. Oh, look at him. I'm right. gonna squeeze him, but yep. I don't wanna kill him. Yeah, he's coming alive now. He's getting a little more feisty. I love that he's chocolate, though, without the black. Oh, just, <laughs> yep, you decided to be a boy. There you, <laughs> there you go. There you go. You put these sweaters on them for nighttime because they're way warmer than the blue one. But I'm going to go wash the others so that they're ready for the morning. There we go. You guys go to bed. We'll be back down before bed, though. <laughs> we'll be back a couple of times at least. But anyway, that's the little house for them to at least be a little bit warmer. I saw him in there sleeping, so hopefully he does go back in. Don't you know?